So now we are going to remove a vertex. So if we have this graph and we're going to remove D, not only do we have to remove that vertex, we have to remove each one of these edges. So we remove the edges first, then we remove the vertex. So I'm just going to bring this back, put the edges back the way they were. So we represent this with this. This is the same thing. So I'm going to focus in on this because this is what we're really going to be dealing with when we write our code. I had mentioned in the Big O video that there is an efficiency that we can use in removing a vertex if everything is bidirectional. And the information that we need to make this more efficient is all contained in this array right here. Because what we can do is we can pop this item from this array, we'll set it equal to a variable, and we know, because it's bidirectional, that C has an edge with D, and then we can go find that and remove it. And then we can do the same thing for B and come up here. We know there's a D in here. We can find it and remove it. Then we do the same thing for A, come up here and remove the D here. In this case, D is connected to everything else in the graph, but you could have a thousand other vertices and you'd only have to go to these three to remove the edges with D. So that's a huge efficiency. Once this array is empty, all of the edges have been removed, and now you can remove the vertex itself. And you'll be left with this as your graph, which would also look like this. So let's get into the code. We'll say remove vertex, and we have to pass it whatever vertex we want to remove, like this. So I'm going to use a while loop here to loop through that array that is associated with the vertex that we're going to remove. And we'll say while this dot adjacency list for that vertex dot length, which means while the array still has length. To put it another way, as long as the length of the array isn't zero, we're going to run this. Then we'll have a temp variable here, and we'll set it equal to whatever we pop from that array. And once we have that piece of information, we can actually use the remove edge method that we just created in the last video. And we can do this. So you need to have the two vertices that you're going to remove the edge between in order to use the remove edge method. So there's the vertex that you're removing, and then there is the item that you popped off of that array. That's all the information you need to be able to remove that edge. Then you can just go through this while loop until you remove all of those from the array. So it would look like this. We're gonna pop that C, so temp is going to be equal to C, and then the vertex that we're removing is D. So if you have C and D, you can remove that item with the remove edge method. Same thing here. We run it again when we loop through again, and same thing here when we loop through it the last time. And now we have an empty array. And when we have an empty array that is going to break us out of this loop, then the only thing left to do is to delete the vertex. So that's going to look like this. And that's going to leave us with this, which is going to look like this. So let's bring our code back here. So one of the things I haven't done to this point, and I did this on purpose, and see if you caught this, you cannot remove a vertex that doesn't exist in the graph. And that needs to be the first thing that we do here. If this doesn't exist, we're gonna return undefined. We're only gonna be able to do this while loop and then delete that vertex if it actually exists. Assuming that it did exist and we have gone through all of this, we are going to return the graph. 
So when we go over to Chrome DevTools, we're going to look at this code. And we are also going to build this graph and remove the D vertex and all of the edges that go with it. And we will be left with this graph and we will go check this and we would expect to see something that looks like this. So let's flip over to DevTools. And there is our remove vertex method. And this builds out that graph that we just showed in the diagram with A, B, C, and D vertices and the appropriate edges. So let's zoom out here and I will run this and we'll zoom back in and open this. And we open this adjacency list and that's what it looks like before we have removed the D vertex. And when we're done, that'll be gone, but also all three of these edges where the other three nodes connect to D. So I'll clear this. So we'll say my graph dot remove vertex with the value of D. And we press enter. Then it returns the graph. But I also want to make sure this works when we have an invalid vertex. So we'll try this again with E. like that and i'll press enter and that returns undefined just as we would expect and now i'm going to type in my graph and i'll press enter and we'll open this and we can see that the d vertex has been removed and all references to it and it looks like we have successfully removed the vertex